Hello everyone, Lord Adrian here with another Grey Goo replay. Spawning the, well, used to be up here, which is now in the middle, and in the, more in the middle, top middle, we have Motsi. And as far as the humans, we, in the bottom left side, <laughs> once again, I'm bad at pronouncing names. Smallzy, Smallzy me? Small. Small my, I can't. Swal lami, lami, swal lami. <laughs> uh, I apologize. Stop butchering it so much. So we're going to see a bit of a harassing force. Three sp small protein are coming out. There is an anti-heavy sentinel for protection. Looks like another anti-heavy sentinel will be coming out, and an air attachment, perhaps going to be uh, just for scouting to spot Mother Goose climbing up the uh, walls. The anti-heavy sentinel is now completed. Perhaps he's going. To, yeah, it looks like he's going to move the freshly completed one to over here. He's trying to go in for additional to attack it while it cannot fight back, but now it is set up. Kills a drover, nothing too much. Trying to come, trying to come in. Of course, it's facing a nine v one, so of course it's going to die. Large factory coming out, which is a bit interesting. A lot of people just rather prefer to build a bunch of smaller factories. Strover poking, well, try to poke, did poke at that refinery, but it won't be able to do much damage. With uh, 3 MR, it'd be 2 damage per shot. Probably this is going to be a round of striders. Yep. And it looks like we've got a nice uh, attacking force over here. Now, this side is actually most covered by the anti heavy sentinels. He could snipe that uh, harvester. There you go, kill that harvester, gets out before taking any more additional damage, and that was a nice uh, pick me up. Another attacking force up here. Trying to attack from two different angles, perhaps trying to kill that uh, extractor while this force takes on this force of small number of revolvers. Overall, the human player did not lose much. Didn't lose much for whatsoever. Looks like he found a little sweet spot, forcing the human player to move forward. He should perhaps move the anti-heavy sentinel. Oh no! Looks like he's going pretty uh, defensive. He's already been contained into this area. Getting an extractor out because this one was destroyed. Perhaps now he should go for some aircraft. Looks like there is tech coming out. All conduit generate proxy. Proximity mines that regenerate after detonation. Ooh, this should be fun. Imagine having all your conduit wire just have lines and lines of conduit wire, which nobody bothers to destroy them all as landmines. It would be interesting how it would play out. I wonder if the with the goo player would recognize it once he first steps on it. Of course, he is contained in space. He's limited down to four refinery. He needs to break out of this in containment. Perhaps bomber craft would be his best option. Okay, another large factory. Nice. Air attachment, artillery, tank, and... St oh, looks like it's all set up for... Uh, for... I want to say Archangel, but Alpha. Perhaps he should uh, extend the conduit wire just a little bit more so... If it gets cut off over here, this would remain powered on. The reason why I click over the area where I think there's a conduit wire 
is because sometimes it doesn't show up if they make it cross. Just a bit of a graphical glitch. The landmine conduit wire will be done in one minute. Of course, now he's back down the three refinery. He could, I think, stick extract at the edge of here. Looks like now he's able to ward out this uh, force. Though he still was contained. Nicely pulls back before go hitting the bush where there's an ambush force already. And what's with all these uh, attachments? Wait, that's a conduit wire. Not an attachment, that's a conduit wire. Oh wait, I think he teleported along the path. Can he teleport along the path with uh, attachments? Wait, wasn't there another attachment that was right there? I'm confused. Wasn't there attachment there? Not a tank? No, not an anti-heavy? That's just interesting. All these graphical glitches. Apparently all of these are conduit wire also. What if I look away and change this back? Nope. Conduit wire apparently does uh, 30 damage whenever the unit runs over it. But from a radius of 75, I think that's about the a little bit more than the conduit wire itself. Looks like he has a howitzer out. I wonder if he sees that pulsing. Well, of course he can't see it yet. Ah, uh, you could have saw it there. I wonder how this will play out. It has a nice sized little force here. And it looks like my frame rate's dropping. It's nothing too bad just yet. I think it's because all this pulsing, it's actually slowing down the game. Yeah, it's much smoother here than here. Yeah, I think it's this pulsing effect that's actually slowing down my game. And my computer isn't bad, it should be able to run this quite fine. Snipes that extractor. And look, now he's running straight into the landmines. It's doing massive amount of damage. Of course, they take time to regenerate. Rate of fire is 15, so it does take quite a bit of time. But he's just running across, making them run across all that conduit wire. Look at that, all that additional damage. He's losing a significant amount of force through this conduit wire. Has he realized what caused it? Boom! Explosion! They're all- they're already at half health, now they're almost dead. He lost so much. But however, he is on 12 Mother Guru Refinery, so he probably will win out in the end. Yes, he now realizes it. Now he realizes the exploding conduit wire upgrade, which apparently the explosion radius does reach out to here. He's trying to run across. He just lost so much to the conduit wire. So then again, he's now, the human player is now on three refining. There's a fourth one about to put back online. Halitzers would be a good bet, and tridents would be good against these mass droverish army. Well, there's a lot of striders, so halitzers aren't exactly the greatest, but they can be effective. I would say bomber craft would be 
really good for him right now. Though there would be easy counter to them of just getting a couple of Tempest. Looks like a Halish just got built and sniped right out of the factory. And looks like he depowered the Conduit Wire and looks like they still are able to explode when depowered or no? Oh, these guys aren't exploding so it looks like they can't explode while being depowered and instantly when it goes back online he's step he's on top of a minefield. If he just repowers his uh, segment area, uh, apparently two attachments cannot conduct uh, power. Look, instantly turn on and uh, it's did some damage. And then the following up explosion killed another set. These are the attachments. The mother goo is trying to come in, but it keeps exploding. But pretty much the human player's back has been broken. But this has been very interesting. I'm probably going to keep this replay just to demonstrate of a possible tactic. And I love this mother goo exploding like that. Look at that. Then whoop, 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 going back in. Blah. And they, oh, how did I not see this? How did I not see this? I might need a... Did he? That's actually a bit suspicious. How did I not see that? How did he build it? There's no factor to those attachments or... I have to rewind a bit. Here we go. Sort of lagged a bit. But how do you feel that? A little bit more. Probably need to cut this section out. Apparently it was building this entire time. I think you can move the attachments once it's started building it looks like. It's sort of... I didn't notice that because it's blend in with the superstructure. But this is interesting. Apparently you can continue building it even if the attachments have moved. Or this is just a big graphical glitch. Because I only see the tank and the uh, air attachment. I don't see this, the stealth and the uh, artillery attachment. Because that's clearly conduit wire. This is interesting. As you can see here, we're talking about it got a couple, then the following up hit got some more kills. I think I said something along that term. And now these actually stride is sort of trapped in this area. As you can see here, there is no attachment. And yet, it looks like you only have to initiate the build. And then you can move those attachments away. Very interesting. I wonder what how it looks on the other... On the goo players. What Does he see? Yeah. With it sort of blending at the superstructure, I don't think... I need to go back and watch the replay. Because all of a sudden this alpha just came out. Is that considered an exploit or not? It will move away attachments while the, being, the alpha being built. Luckily it's doing some nice micro away from the shots. The strider's getting some good damage on. Cancel the shot in mid-firing. 
gets a nice burst, killing three of those destructors, and now we have a huge army of destructors. Now, though the Alpha doesn't have as big a uh, central radius like the Hand of, Hand of Rock, it still have a very good uh, line AOE. Looks like we've got some Crescents, but Crescents can't do crap versus uh, Alpha. Since it has 10 armor, its ticks would be at 1 damage each. Wow, that time it really shook my screen for some odd reason. Before it was like the now, yeah. Before the screen was shaking like about that, but that last time it was like. Blah, 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 blah. If that makes any sense, whatever gibberish I just mentioned. He's keeping he's keeping the alpha uh, contained in the base, which is good. But of course, uh, you need to go on the offense to win the game. And there's a massive burst there, wiping out half that army. But there, there's another army here. Alphas do have stealth detection, so stealth based plays are out of the question. Now he's going for a nice attack. Looks like there's a pulse going to come out. It should deal around 100. Does uh, 125 damage, it looks like. A nice burst on those small proteins, wiping those small proteins out. But crescents were not a good idea. They just don't do any damage. Now the Alpha's out of the base, he could go in for a kill of the base if he still had an army. <clears throat> He's doing a nice job of splitting up the forest, because as you can see, these striders are hitting from all directions. But since he's formed the striders on the front line, there are half health, which cause them to be wiped out by that pulse. He's going straight for the mother goose. Gets a nice burst on these uh, sh on these striders, and here comes another pulse, wiping out all these nearby striders. It yeah, if it looks like it does. I think it did like 125 damage, which will wipe out even when I said the half health striders. That's part is null and void since their max health is only 110 or 115, I should say. A mother goose coming out for combat, slowing down the strider, preventing it from to escape. But oh, he just lined that up. Maybe 130 damage. Let's see. It was a small protein. It was left with 35 health. I must figure out how much that pulse damage is. Here you go. The small protein. Pulses, and it's the small protein, but it's... Sh ah, he moved that one away before I could read its health left. Okay. I didn't get exact health, uh... I needed something with set health, not he rapidly healing. And these mother goos are being a bit annoying. He gets a nice burst on both of them, which is a big problem for the goo player. A proto purger is being built, but it's being built way too late. Though the mother goos are slowing down the alpha. Looks so like this pulse is coming out. Missed. I'm trying to see how much damage that pulse does. This Alpha is almost dead just by the Striders coming in from all directions. He needs those pulses to happen more often for him to be, be any effective. Here comes the pulse. 100. And it wasn't actually there. Darn it. <laughs> and the Alpha's running back to base, but I don't think there is any way to repair the Alpha. It's actually down to 100 health. He managed to kill the Alpha with just using Striders, but there's this attacking force here. It's a good idea. And there goes the Alpha. Looks like it apparently does a massive explosion based damage also when it dies. 
You don't see uh, epic units die that often, so you always want to watch them explode. My only regret is exploded. That's one of the lines from the Orcs and War Dawn of War uh, series. My only regret is exploded. And now he's going to straight run straight into this proto purger. He needs to defend the proto purger or make it take the damage, so it distracts the fire while he kills the attacking units. This mother group probably is trying to take on this uh, extractor. Should probably just stay there and start eating up the catalyst. And now the game has quieted down. With no uh, catalyst here, he needs to move those refineries, but he can't. He needs to take a force over to deal with that, with that, uh, with these uh, units here. There is two. He only has two refining. He could place them here, just try to get at least some income. After all, the extractors are free. Might as well attempt to get some income from somewhere. With the nice healthiness of the tridents, able to deal with a couple tr tridents quite easily. Especially when they already had low health, I think. As you can see also on the minimap, there's a lot of graphical uh, minimap glitches of where there are red structures. There is a red spy among us. And he's going in for a sniping extractor. He needs to move these. They are not giving him any income. So he still has his formidable defense of conduit wire mines. As you probably imagine right now, the game has slowed down quite a bit. A nice couple of howitzers hit in this force. Good thing he's using tridents to uh, engage. They're ni nice and healthy so they can withstand quite a bit of shots so his howitzers can get off more shots. Perhaps he should act research repair his sub if he had any funding left. You might be able to fit another extractor right here. Every funding counts. Especially when your army's down by 50. Whoa, that proto purge is actually taking up 70, 70 uh, uh, units. So perhaps uh, it's his army's only down by 100% of his opponent's army. Nothing much. Just he's outnumbered 2 to 1. I just saw this fish, the fishy, jumps out of the water. And it goes from here and here. Perhaps it goes back and forth? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit bored right now. I probably should fast forward.
Nice bursts, but they're dead. Going to fast forward. And looks like he's going to sit down all out attack after the proto purger was finished. Proto purger is right here. And this is definitely game of no economy left. I always wonder, does the proto purge heal nearby uh, Mother Goose? I think it does. Man, all that uh, conduit wire exploded just to uh. Come on, the proto purge can withstand quite an exploding conduit wire. But yeah, this conduit wire is actually lagging up my game quite easily. Man, my game's really lagging up, and this time there's not even any software being rendered. Well, any videos being rendered. Looks like a wave of large proteins are now out since he's getting three economy from the proto purger. A nice burst here, depowering pretty much everything. This is the end of the game. Oh look, he had a teleporter. How good a teleport does you if it's unpowered. And that Bastion's walking sideways or being pushed sideways. Now while this has been a very interesting game, not like the best game I've ever seen, but a very interesting game to say nonetheless. And that's, and that's definitely the end of the game. Look at that cool looking effect we paused on. Oh well, this is Lord Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.